The Environment Department's Mines and Geosciences Bureau is now crafting the implementing rules and regulations of the executive order lifting the nine-year moratorium on new mining agreements. The Bureau has measured its technical division and is planning on coordinating with the Finance Department next week. With the IRR likely out within a month, the DNR is optimistic that the EO's benefits will be felt later this year. More than 100 mining projects may now proceed to development and commercial extraction based on the agency's priority priority list. 36 of these projects are currently in Phase 1, which means they are now in the last stages of processing permits. Most of these are non-metallic mining projects that produce aggregates and cement, which are needed for the government's Build, Build, Build program. 65 projects, mostly metallic mining, are on Phase 2 or early and middle stages of processing permits. The MGB estimates the mining projects to generate 42,000 jobs in one to five years. They also expect a revenue of around 20 billion pesos, with indigenous peoples also standing to benefit. We expect na meron na rin na konting contribution na uh, taxes, revenues, employment, uh, and uh, multiplier effect itong mga uh, new mining projects. Civil society group Bantay Kita notes that the contribution of the mining sector could be more. That number could be much larger if we revise uh, the fiscal regime for, for mining companies. And this is our point. We can say that the mining sector is undertaxed. The group also recommends that all mining companies pay the royalty fee not just in areas declared as mineral reservations. But Taikita adds that the fee should be based on the gross value of minerals to get more revenues from this sector. Some environmental groups, including Alianza Eagle Mina, flag environmental concerns of the new mining projects. But the MGB notes that they already created an administrative order that will limit the maximum allowed area for mining and other measures to prevent environmental damage. Shaila Francisco, we are One News.